One of the most common questions that I get in the winter time is when should I harvest my greens? So what you're looking at here is premier kale. And you can harvest the leaves just like you do on your collards. You don't have to let this plant fully mature or it will stop at some point. And after it stops, it'll start forming flowers in the spring. So what you want to do is make sure that you're harvesting the outer leaves as they mature. Always pay close attention to your plants. That way you can see how big it gets before it stops growing. Now you don't have to wait until it gets to full size. You can harvest it at that size, or you can even harvest it at that size. And if you want, you can harvest it at this size. And another way you can harvest is to simply grab the plant like this. What you wanna do is look right here where the crown is and make your cut here. This way, you still have the crown of the plant in the center and you can harvest three to four more times from the same plant before the spring. So within two to three weeks, I'll be harvesting again. Now I also have leaves that are damaged, like these that may have been on the bottom that the worms have been feeding on. We have three options. You can put it into your compost, you can put it underneath your mulch and push it right back down into the soil like that and it'll break down and feed the soil. Or you can give it to your dogs. Dogs love kale. Now when it comes to harvesting your greens, it really doesn't matter which size that you harvest. It's all up to you. Most of the kale plants that I have in my yard, leaves mature at about this size or even a little larger. That's all there is to it when it comes to harvesting greens, whether it's collards or kale. There's no specific size that you have to harvest them at. You don't have to wait until the plant matures. These are all edible sizes. And with that being said, this is the end of the video, you guys. Always remember to plan your garden with your health in mind.